The motorcade arrived at Ronald Reagan's presidential library at 11:30 a.m. The police escorted motorcade carrying Nancy Reagan's casket to the library. After a brief private service, drove slowly up the Ronald Reagan freeway with national flags hanging along the way. Somber mood,、uh, family members.、Um, it's very serious, quiet environment. Uh, uh, we had two ministers. Um, uh, reading from the Bible and、um, uh, some particularly important passages.、Uh, one that's、uh, important to Mrs. Reagan.、Um, the small, small audience of family and friends paying their respects.、Uh, but the best way I could characterize it is to say that it was very solemn,、uh, very quiet, and、uh, and sad. You know, a sad, sad situation. Thousands of people are expected to come to pay respects to the former First Lady Nancy Reagan, who will lie in repose for two days at the library before her burial in a private ceremony on Friday. I want to pay my respects to Nancy Reagan, and to、um, just be a part of the、um, saying goodbye and the ceremonies that are happening. I just felt very, <coughs> excuse me, compelled to come again. Well, you know, they exemplified just an unconditional love for the family of、uh, children, and you know, some marriages these days don't last five months. Theirs lasted over 50 years. That tr- truly told something about who they were. Nancy Reagan died of congestive heart failure at the age of 94 last Sunday. A funeral, which was planned down to the details by herself, will be held on Friday. Just as she was always by his side in life, she will be laid beside her husband on the hillside tomb facing west towards the Pacific Ocean. First Lady Michelle Obama, former First Lady Hillary Clinton, Laura Bush, and Rosalind Carter will attend the funeral.